What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today is our last day hunting down this elusive 20 inch brown trout. So we're up here on Pence Creek, I'm in Poe Patty State Park and I just got here, it's like 6.30. Uh, I'm excited. Sore from yesterday's debacle of climbing up and down a mountain really sore we're gonna fish here till like two three o'clock and then that's it we're gonna get out of here so hopefully today's the day i'm gonna do everything i can to make this happen so i'm hoping for a really good day as far as flies go because it's supposed to be overcast all day and they uh come for some rain uh, everywhere that I've been reading, they say that rain, cloudy days, you can get some really good hatches going on for dry flies. Uh, I don't know. I'm still learning all this stuff, so I'm going to get down to the creek and uh, hopefully start catching some fish. I'm going to start out throwing the spinner, and uh, just because this water is so, so deep, it's really deep. And uh, so I've fished this spot before, but I fished downstream. And today we're gonna go upstream and explore the upstream section. All right, so I've thrown around for a little bit. I really wanna try nymphing. I think I'm gonna try a pheasant tail. So I have this little thing from Lively Legs. And uh, it's pretty sweet. It gives you, it tells you what everything is, which is really helpful for someone who doesn't know, like me. So, I laid my dry fly down here, and right next to it is a caddis larva fly, which is, I actually know that. We used to, when I was a kid, get the caddis larva and uh, use it as bait. Alright, up we go. So I think on the other side of this pillar is probably a really good spot. For the first time I think ever, I'm going to try the fly first. Before I do anything else. Oh, I got one. Oh my God. Guys, I did it. Oh. I can't even say it feels like a good fish because I rarely catch fish on the fly, so they all feel good. Oh my god. He got off. Mm, okay, all right. Well, we're doing something. We're doing something right. Pheasant tail nymph, two split shot. I mean, at this rate, I don't care about the 20 pound, or yeah, 20 pound brown. The 20 inch brown, as great as it would be, I hooked a fish on a nymph. And that is, whew, that's a feat. I've been trying and trying and trying for a long time. Ooh, fish. Nice one. Not our, not our guy though. Come here, buddy. Okay, all right, first fish of the day. Naturally, it came on the spinner. <clears throat> See you, buddy. Ooh. That was a good fish. God damn. That was, that was over 15, 16 inches. Mm -hmm.
fish. Nice fish. That is a solid brownie. Oh, wow. Look at that fish, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. There he goes. Yet again. Black and yellow, Panther Martin. I don't know why this thing works so well. It does. There's got to be trout up in the head of these rapids. It's like a food conveyor belt for them. These waders are so bad. Oh my God. I know Sims is like a staple for good waders. I just, as hard as I am, I'm fearful of paying $300 ouch, dollars. Mm, that's in my finger. Yeah, I'm fearful of paying $300 for a pair of damn waders. So I've literally never had a pair of waders last a year. Ooh, ooh, fish. Oh, I lost him. <sighs> Second cast. Second stinking cast with this lure. And I've casted through there with the, there's another one. All right, all right. <laughs> Thanks for that tree. So it looks like this is my last bigger size. Panther Martin. What did I lose? Three? Three on this trip. No. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm going to lose this. There it is. Gone. First cast. Well, that sucks. This is more than likely one of these areas that people just don't fish. Because obviously there's branches hanging down. Everything else. That's why... This underhand cast is just clutch. Ooh, that's a big fish. I <sighs> was a big fish, guys. So you, in case you couldn't tell, that was that was probably the biggest fish of the trip. I got on camera. I hooked into one yesterday. That was. Bigger and probably 20 inches, but I wasn't recording. And I lost it. Oh. That's good fish. Come on, stay on, stay on. Come on. <gasps> what the hell is going on with the spinner? I mean, the hooks are flawless.
There's another one. That's a bigger one. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay on, stay on. It's still not 20 inches. It's a really nice fish. Come on. Oh, stay on, stay on. Yes. Whoo. Whoo. Oh. Oh, baby. Stay, stay, stay. I'm trying to get you off, buddy. All right. you who there we go guys not 20 inches by any means so this yellow mark yeah he's a good I don't know 15 16 inch Wow what a beauty There's one. Man. Oh, buddy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I got him. Whew. Man, this is a hell of a spot here. Oh, God. I almost lost my spinner. I must have broke the knot or something. I did break the knot. Look, it's sitting. You guys see it? It's sitting right here in the water. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to lose that. Not now. That's why I was saying this bank here is probably extremely overlooked. Because fly fishermen can't get here unless they're on the other side. And even still, then they can't cast to this side. Well, boys. We're going to have to call it a day. I fished hard these past two days, three days, whatever you want to call it. Hooked into some really quality fish. I just so thankful to be able to do this. I wish I could do it full time. Just do this all the time. Come find these crazy remote areas and fish and hunt. Uh, but I need I need your support to do that. I need lots of support. So maybe one day I'm going to keep chasing the dream and I ain't going to give up. I still want to be able to catch that 20 inch brown, wild brown. I've caught, caught them over 20 inches where they were stocked when I was a kid. But I'm going to have to get new waders, possibly new wading boots because these are starting to fall apart already. We fished hard though. I'm proud. I'm proud of what we did. Met some really cool people along the way. That guy last night, you know, we're friends on Facebook now. It's like crazy, right? <sighs> I got a long walk back to the truck. I just I just want to soak all this in right here. <sighs> Get to see my son tonight, and I cannot wait to see him. Man, I miss that kid. And probably within five minutes, I'm going to say, what the hell was I missing you for? <laughs> you ain't listening. All right, guys, I'm going to sign out. Hopefully make it back to the truck. Make it back to town. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your continued support. You guys have been unbelievable lately. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.